Oh, all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Fuck you, yeah. You know, don't you? You know, because that's why you've tuned in. Right. I'm just going to play you this. This is what we're up against. Let's have a look. Where's that gone? There we go. They've worked harder on us, but of course, when 40% of your revenue no longer exists mm -hmm. into a show, you need to cut those. Mm -hmm. But that shouldn't be held against a fighter. That's for the, fight, the same fight they would have taken before. So if they're stepping up into a tougher fight, they need to be rewarded. And we're not looking to cut person in that respect. But the days of the easy fights, hopefully, is you know, dissolving. And it needs to. Yeah, it does need to. I agree, I agree. I'm just going to one last one here. So Eddie Earns going on about the days of the easy fights. They're gone. Well, Josh Warrington's in a fight with a Mexican tomorrow who nobody even knows. Nobody, who is he? This guy, they just dug him up, haven't they? They've just dug him up. But uh, I think Eddie's making it up as he goes along, really. Callum Johnson was in a fight against Boatsy. His purse were cut by half after the original offer. Boatsy's purse was still the same. So his purse weren't cut. So why should Callum Johnson's? But you heard what Eddie said, Eddie said there. It's just a contradiction on, on, on a massive scale. Uh, easy fights. The, the, the cards now, uh, well, for example, listen to this one before we talk about Natasha Jonas against Terry Harper because look who Terry Harper's fighting. It's awful, isn't it? I think that from our perspective, we have no say over who manages, advises, represents fighters. That would be a complete conflict of interest as a promoter. And we will deal with who we're instructed to deal with from a fighter respect to make the fights that the fans and the broadcasters want to see. And so basically what Eddie Earns now saying is, they're just going to put fights on what broadcasters want to see. Well, Ring Magazine, right, have said that Terry Harper and Natasha Jonas were female fight of the year, right? So everybody wants to see it. I want to see it. And I'm everybody, you know what I mean? Let's have it right. Everybody wants to see the fight. Everybody in boxing wants to see it. So Eddie Yearn and Terry Harper's team, they don't want it because she had some fist, didn't she? But they've got to give that girl Jonas a, a rematch. She's knocking on a bit now, Natasha Jonas. Terry Harper's got all her career ahead of her. And I just think that Natasha Jonas is going to feel a little bit badly done to if she don't get that rematch. But it's got to be made. There's other rematches that weren't as, weren't as deserving. I mean, could you imagine a two-row Gatti and Mickey Ward not having a rematch after being voted Ring Magazine Fighter Year? Could you imagine them not having that rematch? So... Why can't Terry Harper and Natasha Jonas settle the differences in the ring? Why can't they do it? Because they've got plans to keep Terry Harper away from anybody that's dangerous because they need to fill these dates, don't they? And this is where politics gets involved. I don't think Terry Harper's frightened of fighting her. I think it's a business decision, just like Josh Warrington. He's fighting a stiff at weekend, isn't he, tomorrow? But Josh Warrington made a business decision he didn't want to be in a smelly fight against Gallard. Terry Harper's style's a bit smelly, isn't it? She's a runner. And don't forget, there's only two minutes in a round. But she, we all want to see her do well because she's local. But you've got to look at it from Natasha Jonas's point of view. She was robbed on the night. You couldn't get Harper that fight. You couldn't even give her a draw. They got away with a draw and kept the belt. But the fight has got to happen. And Eddie needs to start making fights that the fans want. If Ring Magazine says fight at year and the fans want the rematch, why are Sky and Matchroom dragging their heels? Why are they offering Callum Johnson half of the original person who were offered to fight Bawatsi? Bawatsi's has not gone down, but you've just heard Eddie going on about purses there and there's going to be no more easy fights and we're not cutting purses. 
load of crap, load of crap. They're going to make the fans pay for it now by doing pay-per-views every month. They're going to do a pay-per-view every month now. There's going to be one a month, and the Joshua Fury one, if it happens, that'll be 40 quid minimum. We're going to pay for it all. They're not even going to fight in England, so am I happy with that? No, I'm not happy with it. It's not fair. It's not right, but sometimes life isn't just right, is it? I can understand Eddie wanting to balance the books because his profit margins are going down, but where do you draw the line? And we're going to have £50 pay-per-views. Is that, what, what about 60? We're going to go to 60. What is happening? I don't know, but I'm not happy with it. What do you think, the boxing fans that watch this? Leave a comment, or if you want to complain, you know the Sky Complaint email, don't you? It's viewer R, viewer with a capital R, small casing, but the R bit's capital, at sky.uk. Oh, just Google it, but that's, that's the email address. Go online and get the email address if you want to double check. And complain to Sky if you're not happy. It's no good people telling me. All I can do is give an opinion. And then I get boxers having a go at me saying I'm taking food out of a boxer's mouth complaining about pay-per-view. Look, pay-per-view was originally formatted. It was a concept originally for people to say, you know what, Porky? We can't miss this fight. We can't miss this fight. Do you know how I know that? Because Dennis went to HBO in America when he had Ricky Atten and they all sat down they were talking about pay-per-view and they said, pay-per-view is supposed to be when you can't miss this fight. Do you know what I mean? Chisora Parker, pay-per-view. Porky, we're going to go and watch Chisora Parker. He's coming down and stop it, pub. Listen, listen to Jukebox. I like to get on Jukebox me all night. That's what I like to do in a pub. Get on Jukebox, I'll sit there all night. I lose myself on Jukebox, but... You're not going to run home to watch Chisora Parker. Hey? You're not going to drop everything. You would Joshua Fury, wouldn't you, if Price are right? You would Gatty Ward, Frotch Kessler, Frotch Pascal, Frotch Abraham. That was going to be a war, but he got his head boxed off, didn't he, Abraham? Look, point you want to make is, pay-per-view is going to be abused like you have never, ever seen in your lives. Eddie's going to front it out. He's going to get so much stick, but I think he loves it now. He loves stick. Eddie loves it. I've terrorised him for since 2014. Eddie loves stick because he's doing his job. He's not bothered. He's getting millions, he's getting a million a week, isn't he? Million pound a week? Come on. They're not going to be, they're not bothered. These people are not bothered about you, the fans at home. This is how I look at it. Is Eddie Earn paying your mortgage or your car payments or your credit cards? No. So why do you care? Why care? Point I want to make is get a stream. There's plenty of streams. Or oh, watch it next day on YouTube, listen to it on radio. It's free. All these people paying 40 quid. Don't pay for it. If it's 40 quid, I won't be paying for it. I like that. I'll listen on radio if I can't get a stream. We've got to make a stand against these people. We've got to make a stand against greed. Because that's all it is, greed. Nothing's going back into the sport. What are these people investing back into the sport? What? What are they doing? What are they pointing to the sport? Is the frequent brain scans for fighters who will get stopped? No, they just ban them for a month, then they come back again. Is the brain scans every time somebody gets knocked out? No. Is the pensions for fighters? No. No pensions for fighters, no brain scans. Are fighters on ticket deals? Yeah. Why are they on ticket deals when we've got a promoter? Why do we need a promoter when the fighters out there have to sell tickets as well as to eat, train, and rest? Why? They're not, these people are not putting note back into the sport. It's a sport that's not governed. I can't be the bearer of what should be right and wrong in boxing. All right? It isn't taking its toll on me. I'm pretty thick-skinned myself. I'm pretty fearless. But... It can't just be me. There has to be people who've got board licenses who ring me up and, you know, they have a little chat with me. These people have to make a stand. Some of them are, but a lot of them aren't because they don't want to rock their own little boats. A few have made stands and it's not gone well for them, but you've got to make a stand. 
We need the boxing border control to do more. All right. Now I want to finish up. I want to finish up. Oh, and I've done this video once. And I didn't press record. I've had to do it again. I'm all changed, ready to go out now. Uh, point I want to make is I'm going to finish off with a video about the disappearing man. That's right. The disappearing man. Tony Bellew, the man that chats utter rubbish. He chats utter, utter bullshit. That's what he chats, Tony Bellew. He's been reprimanded from Ed Robinson at Sky. You know why, don't you? For cheerleading when Chisora fought. Him and Dave Caldwell were cheerleading, weren't they? Cheerleaders. And then saying he were robbed and this and that. Look, Derek Chisora could give him two rounds in that fight. If you're lucky. He got took to school. He got took to school. All right? Took to school. End of story. Ten losses, got punched all over. He couldn't get near Usek, just like Joe Joyce couldn't get near him when he fought him. Derek couldn't get near him. Spencer Fearham coming out with all that garbage about Usyk didn't show him anything against Chisora. No, he only just showed him the sweet science. But you're all right cheerleading for, for Tyson Fury against Joshua because he's MTK like you and his Spencer. You can't have it both ways. It's called... The sweet science. You come in, do your work, you get out. Like a fighter pilot. Comes in, he fires his bullets at another plane, then he gets out of the way, doesn't he? That's what Usyk did against Chisora. Took him to school. Took him to school like Jason Barker's going to take Perry Howe to school. All right, but when they fight or when they spar... That's just the nature of the beast. But Tony Bell, you were coming out saying, well, don't put me in a position where I'm ringside a, a expert analysis guy when it's my friend fighting. Look, Tony, that wouldn't matter to you. Tony Bell, you, that wouldn't matter to you, the disappearing man. Anybody who's a matchroom fighter who you're a pundit on, expert analysis, committee to whatever, or doing interviews, you hang out the back of them. Because that's what you do. That's how you network and move forward. You hang out the back of them like your little mate, Penfold. That's the truth, Tony. You know. You know, Tony. You know. You know. So don't be coming out saying, don't put me in a, in a position where I'm commentating on my mate fighting. Look, everybody at Match Jumps, you mate, Tony. You're a cheerleader. I just wanted to finish off on that. I hope everybody has a great week and I hope they watch the Sky Show. If you agree with what I've said, leave a comment, like and subscribe. And it'd be nice if some people could share the videos on the WhatsApp because we get to check on analytics if you've been sharing them. That's if you subscribe. We, can, we get to know everything. We are watching from afar. <laughs> I'm only pulling your leg, but it's nice when you get rewarded for winning in it or doing well. Or putting effort in. All right. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Big shout out to Ron Lyle. I know you're watching. Big Ron. Hope you're doing all right. Get some plastering done. <laughs> peace out.